My respects to you. Could you help me? Depends what you want, doesn't it? I'm looking for Ginger, a stable boy from Neuhof. They say he ran away and joined up with some charcoal burners he used to hang around with sometimes. Sorry, there's never been a lad called Ginger around here. You have to try somewhere else. A murder's been committed at Neuhof, and that boy likely knows who did it. It's vital I find him. There's been murder aplenty in these parts of late, but that Ginger lad really hasn't been here. There'll be a lot less murdering going on once I bring those bastards to justice. So how about helping me out? Calm down, lad. For the love of God, there's been no one like the boy you want round here. But then again, there are other charcoal burners. Try them. You might want to hurry. You're not the first to be asking about him. And the others weren't exactly a noble-looking bunch. Although they were generous with their silver. They didn't happen to say what they wanted him for? No. But they definitely didn't look like they wanted to invite him to a feast. Do you have any idea where else he could have gone? You said he was friends with the charcoal burners? Well, you'll definitely find some in the forest between Neuhof and Ujets. There's good spots around there. But that forest is huge. I could spend weeks searching. Then follow the river. That's how you found us, isn't it? Where there's charcoal burners, there's always water nearby. All right, I'll go and ask somewhere else. May the Lord watch over you. Yeah. Yeah.
I hope I can be of help to you now. I'm looking for Ginger from Neuhof. Do you know anything about him? I know him. What do you want of him? There's a few questions I need to ask him. Well, he'll have to go somewhere else to find him. He doesn't come here much. I could give you something to loosen your lips. What do you say? I enjoy a good chat. But not even Silver can open my mouth when I don't know anything. I see. But we can come to some kind of agreement, can't we? Well, when you put it like that, it's clearly urgent business. I do know him. Uh, not personally, but I've seen him around. He's friends with the charcoal burners down by Townberg. I know he hangs around with the twins there. Downstream by Townberg? Somewhere by the castle? If you follow the river to the west, you're bound to run into them. Oh, one more thing. Yes? Some other men have been around asking about him, but they weren't as uh, convincing as you. Take care now.
Grant. I'm at your service, Sir Knight. I'm looking for a stable boy from the stud farm. I've heard he's hiding with some charcoal burners. Don't know anything about that. No one ever comes here, what with the smoke and all. I see, but I... They say it makes their clothes reek. Don't know why they're complaining. The resin will stiffen the cloth and make it stronger. God be with you. I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. I'm looking for Ginger. I've heard he's hiding out with some charcoal burners. Ginger who? A stable boy from the Neuhof stud farm. I don't know anyone from there. May the Lord watch over you. I can be of help to you, Knight. I'm looking for Ginger, a stable boy from Neuhof. Then why don't you look for him at the stud farm? He was there, but now they say he's hiding amongst some charcoal burners. And where did you hear that? Anyhow, there's no one of that description here. Try asking somewhere else. Look, a terrible crime's been committed at Neuhof, and Sir Radzig wants the culprits found. And here you are making it harder for me. Well, if you've been sent by Sir Radzik, you can deal with those two criminals who've been lurking around asking about the same boy. And do you know where they are? They won't be far, but I don't know where exactly. From here they headed south, so maybe try there. There are plenty of good hiding places around. So you're saying I should find them and kill them? Just see to it they can't cause any trouble here. And then I'll tell you everything I know. There's no time for that now. First, I have to speak with Ginger. You'll never get to talk to Ginger if they kill him first, will you? Is that the kind of justice you want? But I don't know where to look for them. They're always wandering about here. Their hideout must be somewhere nearby. They came here from the east across the bridge, threw their weight around, and then went back the same way. And I know of only one place in that direction. What place is that? There was a camp between here and the charcoal burners in the east. They're most likely there. We'll lead you. That's fair. I'll look for them. The words of a true man. Once you take care of them, come back and we'll talk. Farewell. <laughs>
Who's there? Greetings, my good man. May I ask you a question? Ask first, then I'll ask you something. Really? Good then. We're looking for Ginger, a stable boy at a nearby stud farm. Have you seen him anywhere? I don't know anyone called that. I'm not even from this part of the country. What a shame. We're worried about him, but we can't seem to find him. Truly, I haven't seen him. If I were you, I'd ask the charcoal burners. Oh, definitely. Thank you for your advice. What are you doing here? Are you after something? No! <laughs> Ah, way off. Sit. Yeah. Oh. Yeah.
My respects to you. I've taken care of those two cutthroats. You don't look like you've been in a fight. If you don't believe me, go and see for yourself. All right, all right. All that matters is they've been taken care of. They're dead. So, what was it you wanted to tell me? Ginger was here, but the lads hid him away somewhere. I suppose there's no need for that anymore. He's in no danger now, is he? And nor are we. That's right. You're safe now. All right. They're hiding him nearby. A little way along the route to Ujits, there's a path to the right leading to a spring. From there, you'll find an overgrown trail to a ruined hut. Finally, some useful information. Thank you, Charcoal Burner. Good luck to you. Jesus, you've led me a merry dance. What do you want from me? I want to ask you a couple of questions. Why did you run off like that? Where are your cronies? And why did you kill that bandit? What? Right, one thing at a time. Why did you run off in such a hurry? B because I was afraid they'd come back and kill me. Who? Those, those bandits, of course. To get revenge on you for killing their mate. Killing? Me? I, I never killed anyone. God is my witness. I'm looking for your friends. Where are they? The charcoal burners? They're over at the... To hell with the charcoal burners. Where are your bandit mates? The, they're not my mates. They, they nearly killed me. I recognized one of them, so I thought they'd come back and... Recognized? Who was it? Talk! I... D don't know his n name, only that he's from Ushets and he has a limp. What can you tell me about him? How do you know him? I saw him a few times in the tavern in Ushets, playing dice and boozing. And? I know he lives in a house on the edge of the village, but that's all I know. I never talked to him. Why did you kill that bandit? What? Bandit? I never killed anyone. This is yours, isn't it? I pulled it from the belly of a dead bandit near the stud farm. That is mine, but 
I didn't stab him. That fellow took it from me. What fellow? I don't know his name, but he's from Ujits, and he has a limp. He limps, and he's from Ujits. That's not much to go on, but I suppose it'll have to do. It's all I know. I never talked to him. And now tell me exactly what happened. And don't leave anything out. That's quite a long story. Don't worry, I won't get bored. All right. I woke up in the middle of the night because I needed to go for a piss. So I went out into the dark, same as usual, only... Only there was something there that shouldn't have been. At first I thought it was just a trick of the light, but it wasn't. Then it was too late. They went past, and I thought they must be horse thieves. I would have yelled, only I was afraid they'd kill me. So I waited until they were out of sight, and I started to sneak away. But then... Then the slaughtering started. Yes. I, I thought they'd steal the horses and ride off. That would be bad enough. But then all the killing started, and flames everywhere. Oh, it was terrible, like hell itself. And then... It, it seemed some of them didn't like it either. They started squabbling among themselves, and some of them started running back where they came from, right towards me. And I had that thing in my hand, the hoof pick. So you stabbed the first one in the belly? No, no. He ran right into me. He was running fast for a fellow with a limp. He pushed me aside and I fell on the ground. Then he told me I'd better lie low if I valued my life. And he ran off with the others. I did what he said and hid. Then the rest of the gang ran past. And then? Then, then I waited in case that limping one from Ujits came back. I didn't dare come out until I was sure. I think it was almost light. What about the others? Was there anything you noticed about them? Uh, I don't know. There, there might have been maybe eight of them. And two of them were really big. That's all I can remember. Do you know what they argued about? I didn't hear everything, but I reckon some of them were only there to steal and wanted no part in the killing. That sounds terrible. I know exactly how you feel. If only I yell. Maybe they... <laughs> if you had, you'd most likely be dead. It probably wouldn't have done any good anyway. But still... There was nothing you could do. That's all. I've heard everything I need to hear, so I'll leave you be. Wait! What about me? Won't you help me out? Uh, perhaps I could. What would you like? I'd like to go back to the stud farm, but those cutthroats who want to kill me are still around. Will you help me? They're out of the way. I ran into them on my travels. Really? That's great, but... What? I'm... Afraid to go back to the farm. I, I ran away, and God knows what they'll think about it all. I don't know if they'll even want to talk to me. I could go and ask them if it's important to you. Would you? You'll definitely have their respect, the way you took care of those cutthroats. Yeah.
help. Wait, I need to talk to you. You're the young fellow who came here from Scallets, half dead, aren't you? Why do you ask? Well, if it is you, the Lady of the Castle's looking for you. Ah, I'll go and see her then. Thank you. Very well. Don't make a wait. Take care now. Oh,
The Lord be praised. What's on your mind? I heard you wanted to talk to me, my lady. It's true. I need something from you. How can I help? My cousin, young Sophie, is going to be wed. It will be an entry into a new life, and I want everything to be perfect for her. I'm looking for a few things to give her as a gift, and you're going to find them for me. My lady, but why me? <sighs> Normally I'd let the Chamberlain take care of it, but he doesn't have any taste. I can't trust him with this. And I've been told no task is too challenging for you. Is that not true? It will be my honor, my lady. I need you to pick up an ornamental crown from Sasal for Sophie, wine from a merchant in Ratai, and a roan from the stable in Ujits. Who am I supposed to pick up the wine from? From Conrad Hagen in Ratai. He's the only person in the whole region who can supply a genuinely good wine. And believe me, I know what I'm talking about. Here you go. That should be enough. And the ornamental crown? I had the engravers in Sassau make it, but now they've written to say it will take a while longer. That just won't do. The wedding is almost upon us, and I need it. Go and see Master Jeronim Slesky and pick it up. You said uh, a roan from Ujits. Precisely. It's a beautiful animal. Wait till you see it. Dietrich said he'd ride it here himself, but I can already imagine how he'll end up killing himself on that horse. But you, so young and vigorous. Wine, a roan, and a crown. I can handle that. Thank you, Henry. I just wish there were others here I could trust so well. Take care. Yeah.
Yeah. Good afternoon. I found Ginger. He begged me to ask if he can return, ma'am. Why should I take him back? It might be his fault I had to bury my husband. What? Why else would he flee but guilt? The men said they didn't see him in bed. He didn't have a clean conscience because he gave those murderers a signal. That's not true. He fled because one of the attackers recognized him and Ginger was afraid he'd come back and kill him. Those are just excuses. He wouldn't dare come back. But they came back the very same day. If he hadn't run, they'd have killed him and everyone else. But why would they do that? Why not? They'd already murdered several people. Why not a few more? And now I'm supposed to take him back? What if they come back for him and kill one of my daughters in the process? The cutthroats who were after him have been taken care of. And the rest have no reason to return here. And what about for revenge? I can't take him back. I understand your concerns, but you just need to ask Sir Hamish to leave you a guard. Those bandits might be willing to take on a few stable boys, but not an armed soldier. I'd definitely feel better if someone was here a few days to keep watch. It can be arranged. I'm sure Sir Bernard won't object. Good then. Let the lad come back again. Good luck then. Good day to you. I talked to Ginger and found out what happened. Out with it then. Ginger fled because he recognised one of the raiders. He was afraid they'd come back to silence him. Well, he was right. They were asking about him. So who did he recognize? He didn't know his name. Some fellow with a limp from Ujits. All right. Since you've gone this far, you may as well ask around in Ujits. We have enough to do here in these parts anyway. Sir Radzik will tell you about it. He said to send you to him if you haven't already been. Good luck to you. Yeah.
Can return home. It was hard work to convince them, so please don't get into trouble when you go back. Thank you. I'd like to give you something, but I've got nothing except if you're ever traveling by way of Neuhof, stop by and I'll show you something with the horses. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Greetings. What business have you? My lord, I managed to find a clue to the whereabouts of the bandits. Excellent. Bernard already told me what's been happening, but I'd like to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. The whole story, or just the gist of it, sir? It's up to you what you consider important. One of the Neuhoff stable boys, a lad they call Ginger, fled from there and hid out with some charcoal burners. I have to say, there's a lot of them around. I never thought how many forges and ironworks they have to supply. That's true, but keep to the point. Oh, yes, sir. I had quite a job finding him. He was well hidden and with good reason. The bandits wanted to kill him because he recognised one of them. Did he tell you what happened? He said it wasn't one gang, but two. And one of them took fright when the slaughter started. Seems they were only interested in loot, so they quarrelled with the other lot. Then it came to a skirmish in the woods and one of them was killed. And the rest of them scattered. And did you find out where they went? All I know is one of them is from Ujits. I know enough about him to be able to track him down. All right, but those cutthroats must know who he is too, right? And if they want to get revenge on him or silence him, you'd better hope they don't get to him before you. So drop everything and get on his trail. Find out what he knows and then report back to me. I'm going to our encampment at Merhaya to oversee the security of the region. Yes, sir. Why choose Merhaya? It's somewhat at the centre of events, isn't it? And what's more, there's another stud farm there. Sir, do you think they're going to try the same thing again? I shouldn't think so. Everyone will be on the alert now, but the secluded dwellings are more vulnerable. There are few people in them. They're scattered everywhere and we can't guard them all. But the bandits won't find much silver in places like that. There's always a groschen or two, some food and so on. Anyway, how much silver did they get from slaughtering those horses? True. If they'd stolen them, they could have sold them. Those were fine animals. Exactly. It's not about the silver. It's about something else. But what? Creating fear. Such great terror that you won't even squeak when they come to cut your throat. Never mind raise your hand against them. Fear that will root you to the spot, staring like a rabbit entranced by a stoat waiting for the death blow to fall. Helpless to do anything about it. Goodbye.